Hello friends, this video on electromagnetic induction part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 12 before going ahead with part 13. We will now talk about another important topic that is called eddy currents. So again I am sure that this is a new name to you so you must be wondering what kind of current is this one. So eddy currents is basically they are a kind of induced currents. So we are in this lesson we are only talking about induced currents right. So they are also induced currents in the body of a conductor when subjected to changing magnetic field. So here the catch is body of a conductor. So in this case, like before till now I was talking about rectangular loops, circular loops and things like that. Now let us suppose if you have a conductor which is a solid body, instead of a circular loop, if you have a circular plate, right, if you have a circular metallic plate and if that plate is subjected to changing magnetic field, so magnetic field changing means there is a change in flux involved. Because of that change in flux, current will get induced in the body of the conductor. So these currents which get induced in the body of the conductor, they are in the pattern of eddies. Why are they called eddy current? Because they are in the pattern of eddies. You would have seen uh, what are eddies, you understand? If they are like small wave kind of things in water. You would have seen that if you throw a stone, you get uh, a little kind of ripples in water. So these eddy currents are also, they also look like that pattern. That is why they are called eddy currents. So these currents are induced in the body of a conductor when they are subjected to changing magnetic field. Since these currents were first observed by a scientist named Foucault, therefore they are also called Foucault current. Right. So let me take an example. Let us suppose if you have an electromagnet, this is an electromagnet. Right. If you connect a battery to this electromagnet, a current flows through this. Now it is seen that the magnetic field produced because of this current that will induce a current in this metallic plate. So current in this form, if you look at it, it is in the form of eddies in water. Right. So these currents are called eddy currents. So because of this eddy currents, you would have seen that if a light metallic disc is placed, just in top of uh, an electromagnet, the light metallic disc is slightly lifted away. So it gets slightly lifted away in air because of the eddy currents which are produced, which, which are induced rather in the body of the metallic disc due to the changing magnetic field by the electromagnet. So these are known as eddy currents. Now eddy currents have uh, many disadvantages I mean it has many disadvantages as such but there are certain advantages because of which eddy, the, uh, eddy currents are observed in many practical phenomena which we see around us. So we will discuss about that also. So now how do I denote eddy current? So eddy current is given by induced EMF because eddy currents are nothing but they are also induced currents. So the magnitude of eddy current will be given by induced EMF divided by resistance of that particular conductor. So that is E by R. Now what is E? E is nothing but minus d phi by dt induced EMF is given by change in magnetic flux per unit time. Therefore we can say that eddy current magnitude wise is given by d phi by dt divided by R. Now when I talk about the direction of eddy currents then again the same Lenz law will help us because eddy current they are just they are also the same as induced current it is just that they are called eddy because they are seen in the body of the conductor and their shape resembles the eddies in water so that is why they are called eddy currents otherwise they are also induced current so the magnitude and direction of in eddy currents will be same as the induced current in case of electromagnetic induction. So now we will look at uh, an important example of eddy currents. This example will clarify the advantages as well as disadvantages of eddy currents. I mean how can eddy currents be helpful and what are the ways uh, I mean or what are the aspects in which eddy currents are extremely disadvantageous. So here we will take an ex for an example we will take an arrangement where we have a metal plate which is suspended freely with the help of some thread or something right so here we have a metal plate 
this one it is observed that in absence of magnetic field right now you don't have any magnetic field or something in that case it is observed that it keeps oscillating without any damping do you know what is damping damping means your i mean i'm sure we have discussed this when we studied the lesson on oscillations and simple harmonic motion right that means it will keep oscillating in this way and it will keep doing this for indefinite period of time damping means this oscillations will gradually reduce and finally it will come to rest so that is called damping so it is seen that when there is no magnetic field there is no damping and the metal plate keeps oscillating over and again whereas if a magnetic field is present now if you take the same metal plate and put it between the pole pieces of an electromagnet so that means now you have this magnetic field here right so now if you put this metal plate and it, it if you leave it suspend it what happens it oscillates but it stops after some time that means damping occurs in due course of time the amplitude decreases and it finally comes to rest but why does this happen eddy currents play a very important role here what happens if you look at the motion of this plate what is happening here the plate is entering into the region of magnetic field again it is coming back and going out of the magnetic field coming back going out and so on so forth that means during this point when it is entering the magnetic field there is an increase in area it is the the same concept lies even here that if you have a region of magnetic field like this and if there is a small conductor when the conductor enters in this region there is an increase in magnetic flux similarly at this region when it is leaving the magnetic field there is a decrease in area right so in this case also the same thing is happening when it enters this region of magnetic field there is an increase in area because of which there is a change in flux that is increase in flux because of that an induced current is produced so current is induced now in this position that means at this position what would be the direction of current if you apply lenz law what happens now because of the motion of the plate in this direction current is getting induced so lenz law will try to oppose this motion it will try to go away from the mean position so when the metal plate is coming towards the mean position current is getting induced so that means movement towards the mean position is giving rise to the current so the current will tries to op try to oppose that motion so the induced current will be in such a direction that it goes away from the mean position so if you look at the direction of induced current it would be somewhat like this whereas when the same metal plate goes to the other end and leaves the metallic uh, leaves the magnetic field in that case again an induced current is produced but the direction of the induced current is opposite so as a result of this as this metal plate keeps moving induced current gets developed into it in this direction like one induced current in this direction again in this direction again in this direction again in this direction and so on so this induced currents together give the effect of eddies in water and that is why they are called eddy currents and these are the eddy currents basically right so that means because of the presence of eddy currents so these induced currents what did they do they basically they are opposing motion here because of the presence of the eddy currents or the induced currents the motion is getting damped that means it is opposing the motion when it is coming towards mean position the induced currents don't want it to come towards the mean position similarly when it is going towards the extreme position it doesn't want it to go towards the extreme position so that means the eddy currents are opposing the motion of the metal plate so what did we see that in absence of magnetic field there was no damping but in presence of magnetic field damping exists and eddy currents play an important role in this damping now let us consider a third scenario where what i do i take the same metal plate but i cut slots into it somewhat like this so now what happened your area has decreased so that is the only difference now i mean that area of the plate has reduced on its own so now what will happen now if you allow it 
to oscillate it is seen that even though it oscillates but in this case the damping is lesser than the previous case like when it the entire metal plate was there when more area was available in that case the damping was more but now the it, it is oscillating there is some damping but not that much damping so the damping got reduced why because now lesser area is available for eddy currents earlier this much area was available for the eddy currents right but now the area has reduced quite a lot so the eddy currents don't have much area to play around now eddy currents were the one eddy currents were the main um, factors which opposed motion so that means now eddy currents are not able to play a very good role therefore there is no one who can oppose motion to a good extent therefore the damping is reduced that means the motion is not much opposed as a result damping is reduced and it and the relative motion continues for a relatively longer period right so that means what did we learn about eddy currents from this we learned that first thing that eddy currents always oppose relative motion it has a tendency to oppose motion right the second thing we also saw that how the eddy currents give the impression of eddies in water how, why is their direction like the eddies in water because as the movement continues the currents also keep changing their direction depending upon change in area or change in flux therefore it gives an impression of eddies in water and that is why they are named as eddy currents right we also saw another thing that eddy currents cause electromagnetic damping since they oppose motion therefore they cause electromagnetic damping so sometimes this uh, uh, characteristic or this quality of eddy currents can be of use to us this electromagnetic damping we will see that in our next slides that in what ways is eddy currents helpful and in what ways the eddy currents are not so helpful thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again